The reason cyan, magenta, and yellow make such good mixing primaries in paint and ink is because their mixing paths curve outward. In other words, they don't bend in toward gray, but they bend out, and so you get fairly bright greens, blues, purples, and reds when you mix those. If you tried to use the additive primaries, you would see that mixing red and green, you tend to lose chroma. You get a dull grayish brown. Or if you mix blue, this is more like a blue-violet, with green, you get a very dull blue-green. And you get very dull purples when you try to mix a warm red with a violet blue. What's really interesting is if you take intermediate hues, right, like an azure blue or turquoise or a chartreuse, these intermediate hues have really complex mixing paths because there's a reciprocity between those and the subtractive and additive primaries. 